Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And those cross-watching in today's reading, we'll take a look and see what is your person thinking and feeling about you. Okay, so what is it that they're thinking and feeling but perhaps aren't necessarily sharing with you? It is going to be a general reading if you're after a personal one. Feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, some very interesting cards here. So, um, firstly, firstly and foremostly, there is, uh, I feel like there's um, several things that your person is holding on to and um, unnecessarily opening up to you. It does feel like there's a fear of, there's this fear or anxiety of coming forward or of, you know, opening themselves up and being vulnerable. Perhaps there's this fear of communicating with you. Maybe they feel that you might reject them. Maybe they feel like you might reject their advances. Maybe they feel like you're not, you know, um, you don't want to hear from them, okay? It does feel like they feel like they have some unfinished business with you, okay? Especially with the world card. This is someone who you know, sees a future with you or once upon a time did see a future with you, but maybe they've ended things prematurely. Maybe things ended due to external influences, okay, external forces. And maybe they'll regret that they didn't take enough action or they didn't, you know, save the relationship. Maybe they've hurt, they've said things that hurt you or they said things that hurt the relationship. And now it just feels like this person, you know, they feel like there's still on some, there's on some level, there's unfinished business. Like, the two of you, you know, had a destiny, the two of you had a connection, and you you guys kind of robbed yourselves of the opportunity to explore this. This could be someone you've met online, it could be someone that's from a different cultural background, someone who might be living overseas right now, who may have lived overseas at some point in their lives, who may have been born to parents overseas. I'm also picking up a an accent here, okay, an accent that's very different to yours, um, someone who might have been who has done a lot of traveling or travels a lot, um, or it could also be someone who is about, to, who will reach out to you, okay? Um, Eight of Wands, who will reach out to you via communication. Both the World Card and the Eight of Wands seem to very, to, seem to really strongly suggest uh, travel. So perhaps this is someone you did long distance with, okay? And maybe long distance was the part of the relationship, the part of the connection that they really struggled, okay? Maybe this is someone who found it very hard to maintain a long distance relationship with you and they they were a little bit put off by the ge geographical distance that would therein create the emotional distance okay and maybe after quite some time this is someone who regretted that with you because they felt as though you had a very special connection that you probably should have explored and you probably should have given it more of a go than you know you guys did so I definitely see this as maybe this person ended things with you, but prematurely. And this is something that I feel like they regret. And maybe this isn't something that they shared with you, but it is something that, you know, weighs heavy upon them. And it is something that I feel like they have a hard time opening up. Um, maybe because if they open up to you and tell you this, they would admit out loud to themselves and to you that they pulled the wrong move. Okay, they did the wrong things and they did the wrong thing and they ended things and they, you know, um, shot themselves in the foot then. It's just, it's maybe it's a pride and an ego thing, right? Um, but it does feel like there is this travel involved here. So either you and them were doing long distance. It could also be that this person might, if they travel, okay, you might receive communication from this person. I do see digital communication. So I see it online or via text messages. Um, they might tell you that they're, you know, in your country or they're in the area and they would like to meet up. Um, obviously they feel as though there's something there you know they've got you on their mind they're thinking about you they're staying maybe in your hometown or they're staying I don't know that you know they're dining at your favorite restaurant and then you know all of a sudden you know you pop into their mind so there's still that connection that you guys share there's still this invisible thread that connects the two of you together okay be it the thread of attraction be it the thread of an emotional connection there's just something still there and they feel as though they have unfinished business with you okay that's how they feel so i do see contact communication this person might be traveling purposely to see you you might expect <clears throat> to receive contact or communication 
when this person is going to reach out and tell you that they want to see you. Um, they want to connect with you. They're in your hometown. Um, there might have been a third party situation. Maybe this is someone who put you in the third party situation and they ended up choosing someone else over you. And maybe this is something that to this day they regret. Okay, they st And that regret weighs heavy on them. Okay, This is something that I feel like they may still be torn up about. The fact that you know they could have had you and they could have explored that connection with you. But instead, they chose to do things, um, you know, to, to do things differently. I do feel like there's something here um, about them, you know. It could also be like they may still, the reason why they might have ended things with you is because maybe they were, they had just come off the heels of a heartbreak or a separation. And, you know, they, they weren't necessarily prioritizing a relationship with them. They weren't emotionally available. And even though they were attracted to you and they had strong feelings for you, maybe that's, you know, they couldn't bring themselves to put themselves in a position where, you know, they were to enter into a relationship when they knew they weren't ready. So it would have been unfair to you and unfair to them. So it might have been the circumstances around your connection at that time. Again, you know, it could have been external forces or internal forces. But there is something about the Wheel of Fortune that, of course, is the fate and destiny card out of the tarot deck, right? There is something about this that feels destined. So they do feel like, you know, it's destiny that brought the two of you together and they do feel like, you know, even if you guys just innocently bump into each other, they're going to, like on the street or your local, you know, cafe, they're going to put it down to destiny. They just feel like even if, you know, things ended and you guys went separate ways, they always knew in their heart, even if they didn't share this with you, that somehow you you guys were going to communicate or you guys were going to end up together again or you guys were just going to end up in the same room again. They always felt like, and it's a weird thing to feel, and I guess it's a weird thing to even say, but it's almost like they had this certainty that they will always see you, or they would always hear from you again. And they felt like it was destiny, you know, and what's bigger than faith and destiny. So there's something about this that feels like this person always felt very strongly that they were destined to see, you, or, you know, that you, the two of you were destined to be together. They were destined to hear from you. Um... I think they wish that they know now what they did back then. Okay, Eight of Swords. It just, to me, it feels like this person didn't see. There were certain things that they didn't see back then. Maybe they didn't see how you really felt about them. Maybe they didn't really see just how much potential this connection had. Maybe, you know, they um, undermined it. It just feels like they wish they had known then what they know now. Okay. Uh, it also feels like, yeah, your person is holding on. I don't know why, but your person felt like they were in a position where they felt like um, they couldn't do much about it. And I, I don't know why, because, you know, you always, you always have a choice, right? But there's something here that made them feel a little bit powerless or a little bit helpless. There's something here that made them feel as though, you know, um, they couldn't act the way that they really wanted to act. I don't know, it's just this sense of restriction and this sense of confinement that your person feels. Maybe they felt like they couldn't really open up and tell you what was really on their mind, okay? When they did things, they did end things with you, okay? It just feels like this person felt very, just very, yeah, restricted. They're not feeling... I feel like this person, they've wanted to in the past to reach out and communicate with you, but now they're not feeling so confident, okay? They're not feeling so confident that you might, you know, still be attracted to them or that you might be interested in them or that you might even want to hear from them due to the fact that, you know, they broke your heart or due to the fact that they ended things prematurely. It just feels like this is someone who is struggling and they're just not feeling so confident about a reconciliation or reunion. Of course, they want to communicate with you. Of course, they want to see you. They want to hear from you. They want to hear your voice. They want to see your laugh, like your smile, you know, the whole shebang. They do, but they're feeling a little like their confidence has been a bit shaken here, Queen of Wands in reverse. They're not feeling so confident that you want this, or they're not feeling so confident that you're going to give it a go, or even that you're going to agree to see them when they do, you know, reach out to you. Yeah, it's a, it's a funny thing. I just want to pull a card. Okay, I got two. For the um, just to clarify the world and the wheel of fortune, you've got the two of cups and you've got the seven of pentacles. See, this person feels like you, you are and you were their soulmate. And the seven of pentacles, it's a waiting energy. And remember how we spoke about the wheel of fortune? They always felt like. Um, 
you know, the two of you were going to come back together, the two of you were going to see each other, you were going to bump into each other, you were going to end up together. They always felt that. And it feels like they were waiting. It feels like they spent quite some time waiting for that, you know, waiting to hear from you or waiting for that, you know, magic, momentous moment to happen, momentous moment to happen. It feels like they were always, you know, in the wings waiting, waiting to reconcile with you, waiting to hear from you, waiting for your paths to cross again. Because they felt like you were their soulmate and they were waiting for you know you their soulmate to come back all right and those are their mess and those are your messages and their messages i guess right thanks guys for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye